walking through those doors the first time to the fertility clinic or even the OB to figure out why you aren't getting pregnant is one of the hardest steps to take. You know, when you're going through infertility, it can feel like you are the only one who feels this way and it can be incredibly lonely. And you just wonder, is there someone else out there who's throwing away these pregnancy sticks, these negative sticks over and over again, or am I the only one? And if you're really lucky, you'll come to find that you're not alone. My own journey with infertility really, it gave me a new perspective and it made me want to be there for others like others were there for me. I was so fortunate to find this amazing online community and I don't know that I would have gotten through some of my darkest days without this group of people that I met across the world, across the country online. And when I realized that there was something that I could do every single day for my job that would also have an impact on people going through exactly what I went through, it was a no-brainer for me. I, I had to be a part of it. I wanted to work for Fertility Bridge because of my own personal infertility struggles. My infertility journey was very difficult and emotionally draining, and I really wanted a purpose to my pain. I also was in a position where I had learned so much about the medical side of infertility because of the massive amount of research I did while pursuing fertility treatments. I wanted an opportunity to use my knowledge for something good. Working in the infertility field is an incredible honor for me. I'm so thankful that I can use my story to help others struggling with infertility. I wanted a purpose to my pain and I'm so thankful to have found that through this work that's so close to my heart. Working in the fertility field means a lot to me. After having my two kids, I just wanted to be able to help everybody experience the same sort of joy that I had through my experience being pregnant and having my two little boys. I never thought that I'd be able to combine my marketing degree and my background in marketing with being able to help people to have babies. I always thought that I was going to have to go back to school, go to med school, just something that was not in my plan, but I knew that I wanted to help people in this field. So being able to find Fertility Bridge in the weirdest way was just so amazing. Working for the fertility community has come to mean a lot for me. Um, sort of stumbled into this field, um, but a few months later, my mother revealed to me after 27 years that she had struggled with infertility and she discussed with me what that meant to her. I've always been interested in doing something for the greater good, something that helps people or brings them together and so this combined with having my mom tell me about her experience and the difficulty she faced in trying to conceive really gives meaning to the work I do. Um, to be able to say uh, proudly that I was an off-cycle IVF baby, um, that my older brother was a Clomid baby, and my little brother was a surprise is just something that I really value um, and something that makes me work every day for this community. To me, stand up for people means having a voice for the voiceless. It means standing up for the infertility community. It means standing up for my teammates. It also means being an advocate and using the platform we have through Fertility Bridge to stand up for others. I just think stand up for people just means being kind to one another and looking at things from each other's perspectives and having each other's backs. And it's especially important to me now that I do have a daughter that I she gets to see me stand up for people and be there for others when they need it the most. <laughs>